Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, we have some interesting news in the 154 pound division. As it's been reported by Boxing Scene and a number, of new, a number of news outlets, that Julian Williams will not be pursuing an immediate rematch and he will not be exercising his immediate rematch clause with Jason Rosario, who he absolutely got folded up by. Uh, just 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 earlier this year. So with that being said and with that being taken into account, you know um, He's gonna use this time to basically just heal from the heal from uh, surgery because he, 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 want, he wanted the surgery and I think I think you know what it might be a good idea because a lot of times fighters They get hurt they get beat up real badly They have to get surgery before the fight and then they lose a fight and they, they blame surgery going into the fight as the reason they lost. So I like the fact that he's being smart and he's being proactive with his career and not going for the immediate uh, rematch because of the surgery. Because we don't want, if he does happen to lose again to Rosario, we don't want to hear from Julian Williams that he wanted the surgery before the fight because of, it's, it's, a, it's an excuse that a lot of fighters do use. And honestly, I want to see the best version of Julian Williams if he fights Rosario. If he's going to come back, I don't want him to lose and be a lesser version of him. So I want him to be the best Julian Williams possible because the first fight was really really good you know and I think it's gonna be tough Rosario is gonna be a tough guy to beat and I'm gonna get to that later on in the video but he's not gonna exercise uh, the rematch clause um, and they're saying that you know he could later on in the year fight Jason Rosario which means that Jason Rosario would more than likely have to um, you know more than likely they're saying that uh, he's gonna take a voluntary defense in the interim period, and they're saying it's going to come against a guy by the name of Bakram Murtazaliev Mirta, from Russia. He's 17-0, uh, 13 KOs. He trains out of Oxnard, California, and um, you know he's he's been pretty much highly ranked. He's been what? What is he? Oh, he's been in the mandatory position since last November when he beat Jorge Fortea last November. So. You know, that, they're saying that's who Rosario's going to fight. So if Rosario, Rosario comes out of that fight victorious and he still has the belt, because, you know, these guys are 154. They can't really seem to hold the belt. They're just passing it around, you know. So if he can hold the belt for a long, period, for, for a long enough period of time after that fight um, to, in the latter stages of this year, then perhaps he could fight Julian Williams uh, later on in the year. Now, um... You know, I, I pretty much spoke my piece on that, but let's get into Rosario for a second because, listen, he's 25 years old. He's just scored the biggest victory of his career. You know, the, I, I know his coach really well, so shout out to Coach Luis Perez, the man that I call evil genius, even though there's nothing evil about him, but I just call him that. Uh, I talked to Luis Perez, you know, the day right after, a couple days right after the fight. I went to the gym with him for a couple days, weeks after the fight, and... You know, he gave me a lot of insight into how Jason Rosario trains and the preparation they put in. And, you know, with Rosario being 25, people don't understand early in his career, this guy was taking a lot of fights on short notice. You know, he, he, never, he never really had proper and ample amount of time to prepare. But this fight against Williams was actually probably one of the fights where he got ample amount of time to prepare. And you saw what happened. And I think he's really struck a good partnership with El Chiro Perez, Luis Perez. And they seem to, to have a good thing going. Now... Uh, I was I looked into the guy he might be fighting the Russian. He looks solid, but I think J J Rosario should beat him. But then again, this is 154, and nothing seems to stay the same for a while. You know, for 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 a little bit there, we thought Jared Hurd was going to rule the division. Then, you know, Julian Williams came in and, and, and upset the apple card. Then Julian Williams, we thought he was going to rule the division for a while, and then now Rosario's upset the apple card, and you know, so now we don't know what's going to happen. With uh, Rosario next, you know, there's a there's a million different things that could happen. Maybe he fights his mandatory. Maybe they make a Charlo unification fight. Maybe P maybe maybe PBC with them losing all of their heavyweights, they figure they need to make some mouth watering fights for the boxing fans that that, that are going to sell and get some attention. So maybe maybe they make the Rosario Charlo unification fight. You know, because that one, if, if they would ever make that fight, whenever it happens, whether it's now or later in the year or next year, that's a fight that's going to get my attention, and I'm sure it would get a lot of the attention of, of, of hardcore boxing fans. So with that being said, that's pretty much the news. It's not, it's not a whole lot to report on, but I, I actually want to commend Julian Williams for being smart because, honestly, how many times in the past have we heard fighters lose a fight, then come into the next fight get, after getting a surgery, and then blame their loss on the surgery? Um, 
a lot of times, so many times. I mean, I know Shannon Briggs when he fought Lennox Lewis. Uh, he said that he said in many interviews that you know he got surgery going into the Lennox Lewis fight on his hand, so that's why he lost against Lennox Lewis. So we don't want to hear any nonsensical BS like that. I want the best Julian Williams. I like Julian Williams. He's a true warrior of the sport. He fights on. He fights the best. Um, and I know that he's not ducking a rematch. I know he wants. And I know he wants to smoke because look at his resume. Look who he's fought. Look, look, look at look at um, what he's come back from. He's a true warrior of the sport. So um, we, we we want the best Julian Williams. Rest up, champ. Uh, get 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 to full health and full recovery because Jason Rosario now you know now that he's champion. Uh, now that it seems he's he's found his home here in South Florida with Luis Perez, it, it, he's gonna be a very difficult guy to beat. So if you come back, it, it's gonna be even more difficult than the first fight. So um, let me know what you guys think. What do you think uh, Jason Rosario should do moving forward with his career? Uh, because now that he's not getting that rematch. You know, there's his mandatory obligation against this Russian. There's the potential unification fight with Jamel Charlo. Uh, personally, in a perfect world, personally, I would like to see him fight uh, Jamel Charlo. Maybe they put him in there with Tony Harrison, um, who's coming off a loss. Maybe Eric Salubin. You know, I know Eric Salubin uh, is, 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 is a top guy that, uh, you know, he's going to be in line for a world title shot soon. So, you know, he, he could be an option, but I doubt it, you know. I would expect them to go the mandatory route and fight the, the Russian from Oxnard. So, yeah, let, let, let me know what you guys think. Julian Williams is uh, he's not going to pursue the immediate rematch. He's got he's going to rest up and, let, and heal from surgery. So smart move from him. It shows humility. It shows that he's not a prideful, deluded um, fighter like many of the other boxers we have in the sport. So, uh, yeah, leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniels. So until next time, take care, guys.